all right ladies and gentlemen gamer live studio here back at it again with some more starfield let's play which we are going to continue where we left off in shattered space i did enjoy it for like about three hours or so two two and a half hours i was playing it and i really am enjoying it and i'm loving it so far um again i'm having a blast like it seems like it seems like i'm getting easy gunfights this could be like a weapon a gun issue if anything, if I have to go buy a different gun or whatever, just so I could have a little bit of a challenging gunfight, I probably might will have to do that if I don't see the challenges or whatever raising up. Or I might have to change the game in-game settings and make it a little bit more spongy. Um, not a lot, but just a little bit. So I probably might do that. But um, so far... I'm enjoying the DLC, man. It's just more Starfield, and I love Starfield. And I've been playing Starfield a lot, so it's good, you know? So, let's go continue where we left off at. So, we're going to load it right there. Uh, No, we don't want that. We want the current. You want to continue loading? Yes. Yeah, I took it off. It wasn't doing it. That mod didn't do do much. So I just like, eh, let me take it off. And there's another mod that does it. Um, you know, to put more crew members in my stuff. If I just like get this, like whatever on my ship. So that's unique. All right. So I think what we should do is get some sleep for anything. You need something? No, we're good. Got my partner right over here doing some research. Uh, let me see. I'm going to go get something. I need to go to sleep a little bit. What the hell? Come on. There are worlds to conquer. Oh, shoot. Oh, it does help to heal my stuff. So let me go sleep some more. I was beginning to wonder if you hibernate. Ah, oh, don't worry. I'm awake. I'm awake. We're good. Alright. So it seems like we're malnourished. Let me uh, see if we can get some food in ourselves. And we should carry some food with us, just in case. You know, never know what's gonna happen out there, so we might as well just bring maybe like two of these. Bring an apple, bring that, bring the beef. That should be good. I don't think we got a lot of stuff in here. I think we mostly got everything what, what we need. Yeah, this one does some 22 damage. This is pretty nice. It, it, it was expensive to buy, but it was well worth it just in case. But if it's a little bit OP, then I'm probably going to just uh, put this down. But... I'm going to carry it just in case. Because um, you never know, man. There's, there's some wild shit out here. Okay. So, we got to de start delivering some packages. So, we have somewhat of a game plan. Alright. Let's go. Oh, 
All right, Vasco. Uh, close the ramp for me, yes, Vasco. Captain. Thank you. All right. Hmm. So, we're gonna have to... Let's see where we need to go first. Because now we got these containers we have to do. So there's one, two, and three far off in the distance. So we'll head over here first, and then we'll go around. Alright. Alright, I think it's time for us to go. You ready? Is something amiss? Is that it, then? Come on. Let's go. What was that? Alright, let's... Grabbing his stuff. Alright. Seems like it's clear. I don't know why that robot is so hostile. Ah, damn. All right, let's go. All right. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Let's see. Go. Nice and easy. That's the one thing I can criticize about Bethesda. I wish the vehicles was handling just like cars, where I just use the right trigger for gas and then like, you know, like whatever for steering. But, you know, it's neither here or there. Where do we need to go? Okay, so it's right up there. Okay, we're over here. I'll park it right here. Uh, 
All right, we're here for package and delivery. Hello there. I don't know your face. Are you lost? No, I just got a deliverer package. Oh, so Lijana finally found a replacement courier then. That's good news. She sounded nearly desperate in her last message. Well, friendly delivery person, I'll be your friendly package recipient. It's very sad what happened to the previous courier. His name was Shamid. He was a radiant soul, full of life and joy and dreams. All of it stolen away in the blink of an eye to hear it told. Yes, yes I was. After making a delivery, he often stayed for a bowl of stew and tell me the news of the city. He would always have a new joke that he'd share. He had a gift for humor and telling stories. Sometimes I would laugh so much that my sides would ache for hours. <laughs> I will miss him. Damn. Oh, good. It's definitely the right package then. I spent a small fortune on these spices. They're some of the rarest we have, as well as the most pungent. Cooking is my great joy, and the proper use of seasonings is the most important part. Thank you for this. I will. Now here's your payment. Travel safely, courier. Truly, the grot is a gift from the Great Serpent. It provides much for us. Mysterious death? Everyone on more than one occasionally seemingly healthy animals have been dying and with no obvious cause. Please keep close. Ugh, God damn. Wow. Weekly chores? I don't have to read that. I could eat something here. Damn, even I could sleep here? Wow. That's nice. Whoa, that's cool. Holy shit. Alright. I think there's nothing here for us. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay, let's keep it going. Alright, you have a good day. <laughs> it's time to get back to our mission. So now there's one all the way on that side. Since we're around here, let's go search the area through this way. That's odd. Let me get off for this one. Just curious. Oh shit, there was a gate? I don't know. So I can't steal? So somebody must have be here. Oddly, there's like nobody here though. Weird. Alright. How are we gonna get there, though? So, we're either gonna have to head all the way around 
or we can go through this way. Which is going to be very difficult for me to do. And we're going to have to deal with them. Rather not get involved in something and try to risk my packaging delivery over some nonsense. So we're going to have to definitely go around. Actually, before we do that, let me go stop by here just to look around. I can't stop thinking about the catastrophe. My sister was among those lost. When I heard the news, it was as if my heart was torn from my chest. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. I ain't gonna try to eat somebody's food, you know. I ain't one of my missus. I thought maybe there might be something here, but eh, there's just, just another farm place. Ah, damned stupid crotch. Ah, it's you. The one Anasco spoke to. While I am pleased that you wish to make my acquaintance, I'm preoccupied with a problem that demands my attention. Apologies, but I must continue on. Mm. A problem of stolen property. I run a grot farm nearby. Look, I really must be going. This is a pressing matter. Yeah, perhaps. I'm old and very tired. I suppose I could use the assistance. For weeks now, my groats have been going missing. The first time I did not think much of it. Groats are crafty and sometimes they escape. But I am down too many groats now for this to be a mere coincidence. They are being stolen. This cannot continue. I cannot keep purchasing new groats only for them to go missing a few days later. And without my groats, I cannot supply milk or meat to this city. I understand that this may seem a minor problem compared to the others in Dazra, but I would appreciate your assistance. Thank you very much. Please go to my farm, see if you can find anything I have missed. I will continue to inquire around the city. Good luck. Let us hope that you can get to the bottom of this. Uh, well, milk and food is uh, important, but... Let me just double check it. Okay, so it's over there. And we still gotta make these deliveries. So if I go over here, stop over here, and then I'll come I'll go work my way down that way. But we're gonna have to go all the way around. Okay. So then we'll just do it like that. So we'll do We'll do this one first, and then we'll work our way back. Don't worry, we'll get your little thing back.
we're in the thick of it now. Take cover. Got these new creatures too. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit. One down. Son of a bitch. Why are you running? Got him. One ran off. Son of a bitch. What is up with these phantom games? I mean, not waste it. They're just gonna keep on spawning and shit. Alright. Let's search. See what we can find. Damn, we found a pirate. Got a little wine for us. Lemon. What are we gonna do with that? Get us some shards while we're in it. Oh shit! What the fuck? Lost. Shit. Strip them.
<sighs> this is why we got aid. So I'll on it. Alright, let's go see if we can change our outfit. Might as well. Since we already got something better. one down because this oh wait this is 16 this is less weight but they're both the same so I'm probably gonna wear this one it's less weight it's only like 13 grams so I'll put this one down I'll put this down. I'll put this on. It's a little less weight. Wait, this is the... No. This is less weight. So I'll put this one down. Wait. Why is that vibrant? That's stupid. Let me do like this again. Um, inventory. Oh, I like that. I'll put this one down. I'll just get the white one. There we go. Let me check over here real quick. So we got more gunfight. Let's go check this case. Uh, 
If I do this, that means I will need to do... Alright, let's grab our vehicle, get the hell up out of here. Seems like there's more gunfire over there. Let's see if we can just drive a little bit closer. Not too close. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh. Oh. Got to make a desperate attempt. Oh. Swear to God. It's like literally a war going on. Shit! Okay. You cannot beat me. I went the wrong way. Jump. about to die. We're gonna have to shoot from a distance. I wasn't expecting because I was like right there in front of them and those turrets did not want to kill me at all. Alright. I'm just gonna have to get a little close and just shoot them.
All right, clear. Let's get out of here. Damn, there was an actual damn fight. Seems to be cleared. Five for four by four. Sorry about that, but I ain't got time for y'all. Trying to avoid a fight than getting into one. We'll come back and explore those later. Are we almost there? Could explore this one, but let's focus on the mission. Slowly. Die.
has a hood on top. Also get him from behind. Cleared. Might as well give this one to Andresia. Let me just see. See what I picked up. Hello. Yeah, might as well let you trade. Right. Yeah, you know, let me get a lower end weapon just to make sure we can see if I got somewhat of a fighting chance. I'll give her this one. And then I'll take this one. So... Yes! Trying to pick a fight from them.
can go higher. It was getting annoying. Yeah, you still like that shit. Keep going. Just wanted to see how much this is. One more day. Vindicator. Vindicator. Looks like this is the guy I need to talk to. From such a vantage point, you can almost see the Great Serpent's grand design. Welcome, my friend. Are not the beauty and majesty of nature truly splendid? There is serenity here that cannot be found in the city. It is the ideal place to contemplate the secrets and mysteries of the cosmos. A kindred spirit, then. Wonderful. Let us share a brief meditation in celebration of this meeting. Now close your eyes, and breathe in deeply. Be calm. Do you feel that? It is the presence of the Great Serpent, omnipotent and all-seeing. Such divine communion purifies us, and makes us strong. You may think this is a chance meeting, but I know the truth. The Great Serpent has a plan for us all, my friend. And this encounter is a part of it. Ah, so Lijana has at last found a new courier. Great Serpent be praised. This package of dried and salted groats meat will sustain me in my contemplations. So captivated am I by the serpent's mysteries, <laughs> I sometimes go days without remembering to eat. I know it's customary to pay upon receipt, but let me pose you this question. If we carry out the will of the great serpent, is that not the greatest reward of all? Compared to such divine favor, the worth of a few credits is a mere pittance. Very well. 
But you should know that an obsession with material goods does harm to the soul. Here is your payment. Go in peace, my friend. Yeah. Nice try. You think you think you're gonna sliver your way out of this? Bro, you're gonna have to pay, bro. Shit. I hope the Great Serpent finds me worthy of redemption. Well, from a distance from here, it really looks like a spectacular. I gotta say. Path of redemption. Learn about the path of redemption. I'm not sure anything. Teachings, our lives. All these got one credit value. May the great serpent watch over you. So we gotta make it over here. And once we do, we can go work our way up top. Good. Let me save it. Damn, I was about to fucking die.
shits. Stupid ass bird. It's this way. Almost there. Did anybody say special delivery? Because I came right on time. <sighs> All right. I'm busy. Thought you'd catch me unaware, did you? Thought they'd be easy prey? Unless you want a hole in the middle of your chest, you'd better turn around and start walking. Uh... Hmm. I suppose you could have put a bullet in the back of my head easy enough. Yeah, no shit. Jesus There's no Christ. trouble out here lately. We've got pirates and spacers circling like vultures looking for easy pickings. And that's to say nothing of those fanatics. Has the Great Serpent abandoned us? I don't know. Perhaps. I don't believe you. I know the courier well, and you are not him. Tell me the name of the person who sent you, and prove that you are not a liar. Fine, so you're telling the truth. I yeah, no shit. For Damn. Manner. And trust does not come easily for me in these dark days. That and the constant pain in my back makes me poor company. I know. I fix machines because they don't try to start a conversation. I prefer the quiet. But now, at last, my medicine has arrived. The serpent knows I've gone too long without it. No doubt he hears my loud swearing when I struggle to get out of my bed every morning. I'm sure you wish I would. No, not like that, man. Damn, relax. Let's go take a visit upstairs. Saving it at this point.
These motherfuckers. Look at that view. That looks like so good. It's sick. Alright. Let's see if we can find this so <coughs> Jesus Christ, I'm fucking coughing. Jesus Christ. Somebody's here. We just got another report from one of the growth farms. Ah, <sighs> more dead animals. Bladed backs this time. No signs of injury. Merciful serpent. Whatever this... By the grace of the serpent, we were spared. Even so, my dreams have been filled with darkness and dread every night. I believe the Great Serpent is testing us. And we must rise to the challenge. We must be strong and resourceful and prove our devotion beyond all doubt. Only then will we prove ourselves worthy. What a delightful question. I'm so glad you asked. You see, it's something of a point of pride. It was my mother who designed the layout for Hamadi Station. She was a gifted architect, as well as a botanist, and yet still found the time to be a wonderful mother. She married an engineer, and they built this place together. Hamadi was my father's family name. In many ways, I suppose my parents were my heroes as a child. Farewell, far traveler. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to Hamadi Station. I do hope you're here about the research assistant opening. We haven't <coughs> had many promising applicants. By which he means we haven't had any applicants. Well, yes. Thank you for the painful reminder, oh love of my life. I'm Azad Dubas. My wife Shireen and I are scientists. We've been quite busy lately and are greatly in need of some help. We put out a call for a research assistant, but with recent events, we haven't had much luck. By which he means, we haven't had any luck. This could become tiresome quickly. So, are you interested <laughs> in a little field work? Ideally, you'd be motivated by a fascination with the mysteries of science. But yes, it is paying work, assuming credits will suffice. My wife and I have been studying a recent and somewhat troubling phenomenon. You see, the local wildlife has been dying, and we're not sure why. The remains show no signs of external injury or trauma, so we can rule out most of the usual causes. Fighting for dominance or territory, predators, hunters looking for sport. Those sorts of things. We began to see this phenomenon just after the accident in Dazra. We're convinced these events are linked, but the exact nature of the connection remains a mystery.
If you mean that we're making guesses, then yes, we are. In the absence of knowledge, we hypothesize, we theorize, and we test. Now, let's discuss your part in this process. I need you to search for corpses of local wildlife and collect oh. tissue samples. I'll give you a biosample collector that will extract and store the samples safely. Try to collect samples from different kinds of creatures. We want to cast a wide net. Return here when you've got them, and we'll begin the analysis. The prospect of tearing rotten flesh from animal corpses is not what I would call appetizing. <laughs> but the search for knowledge is its own reward, my friend. Now go forth and do the good work of science. Eh, alright. I'll do that later, if anything. I'll probably do that maybe when I'm pretty much not done. Wow, they really do have a bio lab in here. Okay, let's get out of here. We got more pressing matters anyway. Tissue samples. Hmm. Let's go back to the city because we gotta heal ourselves up. Took too much damage, and we're probably gonna need some bullets. Until next time, you're my friend. Let's see. Let's go through here, and then we'll come back and do the farm. Yeah, we'll just head across. That was a leap of faith. Watch it. back in one piece. All right, Vosco, we're back. Let's get out. All right. <laughs> That's how you do it, you know what I'm saying? Come on, Andresia. So... Let's 
get some rest for a minute. Then we'll get up, we'll go into the town. Might as well do it like that. About time you woke. We have things to do. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it, don't worry. Sorry. No, I'm like malnourished. Like this. Eat one of those. Might as well give Vasco a little rest, you feel me? Alright. First, we need to get to a medical clinic. Should go to House of Healings. Heal ourselves. I... I saw one of... One of those things. A phantom. Its face was so familiar to me. Could it... Could it have been my partner who was lost to the Calamity? I do not want to believe it. I... I would rather my beloved have died swiftly, painlessly. I do not want to believe that they are now a phantom, trapped between worlds. Do you really think it was them? Surely it is possible you were mistaken. You have been through so much. Your brain is playing tricks on you. I am trying the to surf to not it. torment you in some <clears throat> way. I fear I may be losing my mind. No, it was them. I know it. Trying to reach out to me. Trying to get me to save them. You must not torment yourself. Hello. So this is where the spaceport is, and this is where it goes out. It's this way. Damn. That shit looked so fucking beautiful. Damn, but that's a really outdone themselves, I'll tell you that much. They really have. Let's go. Probably my head to the armory too. See if we can get some weapons or something like that and some better gear. The Great Serpent spared us so that we may rebuild stronger. Better. <sighs> Get a hold of yourself, Zamira. You'll be fine. Well, well, well. It seems like my... Vandadan got me on these packages. The aid and supplies never cease. It has been quite a challenge to keep all of the records in order. Well, at least I did your job for you, and I got my credits. Salutations. 
<sighs> Salutations to you, my friend. What is it? Is it urgent or can it wait? Let me take a look. This is not going to be easy to treat. Bite down on something. This is going to be painful. There. All finished. Try not to get too greedy. Mm. I do need this. Wow, they're not playing when they said they are really low on supplies. Exhausted, drained, hopeless. I am not sure what brought this disaster upon us, whether it was the Great Serpent's wrath, or a horrible accident, or something else. But what I do know is that these people who are suffering, they did not deserve any of this. I agree. So much needs to be done to recover, and we have yet to even scratch the surface. Hence why I feel the way I do. Hopeless. All must serve. What could he have possibly done to deserve this? What angered him so? Great Serpent keep you. Go out to the second floor. And I'm guessing this is one that we got to do our mission. Damn. Leave me alone. Goodbye. Damn. How's Julkev? Is that your service? Hello, Vindicator. Malibor has kept me informed of the situation. The deadlock of the High Council. I hope your presence here means things have changed. I see. I'm pleased that the Council is once again working towards a solution. It felt wrong not to help. Do you know where I was when it happened? The incident, they call it. I was in the temple next door, conversing with my cousin. I was in the middle of replying to him about, um, you know, I don't even recall. Some meaningless bit of family drama, I'm sure. One moment he was there, and the next, gone. My cousin, the floor, the wall, just gone. I found myself looking out at the scaled citadel, unable to comprehend. But now, here I stand, the elder of House Dulkev. My loss? Yes, I suppose. Although, from an outside perspective, one could consider it a fair trade, given my new role. Perhaps even a gain. I agree. And yet, with the proper detachment, nearly anything can be seen as transactional. Those within House Dulkev are trained for it. You cannot imagine it. A single moment of pure, terrible silence. 
a meter's distance was all that separated me from whatever has become of Dazra. I find that through all the chaos and the scrambling since my mind drifts back to that moment, I could be gone as well. But here I remain, spared. And I do not know why. Hopefully you can deliver them from this. But what comes after? What about the next trial? I'm sorry. I should shoulder my own burdens, not force them upon you. I've grown so tired of the council squabbling, and I want no further part in it. I have no demands, no requests. All must serve. And House Dulkev is no exception. The speaker has always been the guiding light of House Verun. In his absence, it is of no surprise that some would find themselves lost, stumbling in the dark. Here is what I can tell you. Sometime before our current calamity, Anesco Verun approached me looking for information about his grandfather's time. He was frustrated at the lack of progress. House Dulkev keeps extensive records, you see. While I was never told the exact reason behind the inquiry, I was able to deduce a fair amount. I provided him with the shipping manifests from the time of the Serpent's Crusade, materials and equipment that suggested some highly specialized research. I told Anesco where those materials had been sent. Weeks later, well, you've seen the Citadel. You know as well as any where we are now. I believe so. Yes. Anasco returned from the site in unusually good spirits. He boasted of something called the Vortex Interlock, and that it was the key to unlocking some new unseen potential. Whatever records exist of this interlock were swallowed up with the citadel. And as for the original site, executors were sent, but did not return. And we can spare no more casualties. So I suggest you visit Malin Dam to the southeast. I believe it is more than it seems. It is the only place to learn more about these vortex interlocks and what connection they may have to the events at the Citadel. And should your search be fruitful, make sure it is known that House Dulkev was proud to serve when called upon. All right. So this one helps look ahead. All right, fine. Why not go on a little investigation trip? So it's over here in this location. The 
seems to be another one over here too. This one over here, and we could collect the tissue sample too while we're at it. Alright. Might as well since we're heading towards that direction. And on top of that, hold on. I think we should stop by at the farm too before we head our way down there. There's a structure over here, and there's a farm. Let's go investigate the structure, go to this farm, and then we'll merc our way down here. Investigate this one, and then we'll go over here. And then once we do that, and we collect the tissue sample. But before we go here, we go to investigate here first. Just in case. Might as well go look every nook and cranny as we possibly can, and do it more efficiently. Like a real gamer should. Efficient. Alright. So, Andresa, it's just you and me now. What we need to do is get some supplies. I pray that the Great Serpent will deliver us from our hardships soon. There's a vacant house. Armory keep. Good exchange. Let's go over here, because we're going to need some weapons. For damn sure. Okay. You know what time it is, and I'm here. You do not have approval to trade with me. Fuck you, me. Apologies, mean? but you're not clear to purchase from me yet. What are you talking about? I can't purchase. The fuck? Apologies, but you're not clear to purchase from me yet. I'm not clear to purchase? What the fuck kind of bullshit is this? Bitch, do you not understand what we have in trouble? Oh, fucking Christ's sakes. Man, she lucky, she lucky because honestly, I would have pulled a pistol whip on her ass. You know what? Just for shits and giggles. Just for that. Just for that. She said... She said what? You said what? Sorry, but you will have to get approval before you can buy any weapons from me. What is going on? Things to discuss. Piece of shit. Fucking told me you pistol it. You said what? Ho, did you say what? You said I couldn't purchase what? 
I couldn't purchase fucking weapons. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Man, let me go grab this shit over here in the back. Okay. Grab my shit, bro. Fuck. Fuck are you talking about? Yeah, you don't got no permission to push to me yet. Shut up. Shut up, ho. I do got permission, bro. Right now. I got permission right now. Just open up the door. See how easy that is? See how easy that is? That's all you gotta do. Shit, man. Man, give me this shit, bro. Alright, this bullshit, man. Grab my fucking shit, yo. Got this nice little bear wolf and shit. Alright, yo. Damn, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Fuck, man. Do you not know we was we in a fucking crisis? Bitch says you don't, you know, you can't purchase anything in the blah 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 blah. I'm like, bro, man, I'm purchasing this shit. The fuck are you talking about, bro? You got me fucked up. All right. All right. Fuck, I can't purchase shit. The fuck are you talking about? Got me pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fine. You want to you want to play it like that? Fine. I'll, I'll go up and see your fucking boss or whatever the fuck he is. Where's your boss located? Is he over here? That's the bathroom. I have come to inquire about the report. I was only able to skim it for now, but my initial impulse is that your concerns are justified. I appreciate your insight, especially since we do not make these decisions lightly. Chosen. Yo, can I talk to you? Hello. Hello. Indicator. Our minds and bodies must be fully devoted to his will. Heresy and treason are one. So what? This is the kitchen. Oh, Shit! Where is this fucking dude? Is at? Are you not working for House Dude Kev? Oh, so we gotta do one house at a time? Damn, okay. So I'm guessing we gotta do one house at, at a time. So that means we can't even purchase shit. Yeah. Oh, great. Wow. Alright. My bad. Well, okay, so that's how we're gonna have to play it. We're gonna have to do one house at a time. Fine. Then we're gonna have to head back to the ship and start getting some ammo. Luckily, we brought like a whole bunch. <sighs> Damn, bro, we can't even purchase them. All right, you got it. I can't really, I can't really blame, I can't really blame it because I'm like an outsider anyway, so. Even though I'm part of the Great Serpent, that doesn't mean they trust me at all. Good exchange, should be downstairs. Uh, 
I don't know. Let's check downstairs. Repository? What is this? Great goods for a great price. I was hoping you would eventually stumble into my shop. Welcome. Oh. Nice to meet you. Uh, here's my... That's an understatement. Huh. It's rare that an off-worlder finds their way to Dasra. But not just any off-worlder. One that's able to speak with a Nasco Varun himself, which in the eyes of the citizens of Dazra moves you up from the suspiciously curious category to the dangerously unique one. Oh, wow, thanks. So. Oh, well, clearly. Where are my manners? I'm Nalata Brady. Forgive me for not starting our conversation that way. I've been a, a bit distracted of late. My brother Kwasim has been missing for days. I'm beginning to worry that something terrible has happened to him. Yes, indeed. And after what our city has been through, there are countless others that feel the same way. <sighs> I'm sorry. You don't need to waste time hearing about my problems. You've clearly come by for a specific reason. If you want to take a look at what my shop has to offer, well, you let me know. Really? You do that for me? Oh, you truly are a gift from the Great Serpent. I knew he hadn't forsaken us. Oh yes, of course. The last time I heard from Kwasim, he was headed out to the Deep Gorge refinery to assess if it could be reopened. He never came back that evening. I've been worried sick. That's all that I would ever ask. Just please be careful. That old refinery has been abandoned for years, and there's no telling what might be choosing to call the facility its home. Now, is there anything you might need for your journey? Yeah. Absolutely. Damn, this looks like a sleek little outfit. If you get rid of that little thing, I like this little outfit. Well, you do got some aid. That's some good shit. Stem packs, trauma packs. I'll get more of this and more of this just in case. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this. Chunk goat meat. They got their own little packaging, but they kind of write the name over it. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Like, they seem like they got their own unique uh, things. See, they got a whole lot of resources. But you ain't got that much, but thank you. I'll see what I can do to find your brother. But I ain't making no promises. All I could do is just go about it. Security center. Treating me this way. Say that again. 
Go on then. Keep making your threats. Save your bullets, damned fool. I am going. I'm gonna have to talk to him to later. It's pretty intense. What am I even doing? Basically, the sun is just on here. I want to go to... That's the suspenser, but where is this at? Let me go see on my map. I may... I may do the wrong thing. Ah, okay, so some... Oh, okay, okay, it was right over here by the bar that I passed it. Oh well, I'll come back for it later then. I messed up. I thought it was somewhere down here. I'm telling you, House Varun. Not have time to treat you at the moment. I'll tell you one thing, House Varun definitely got a uh, ways of ways, you know. But let's go back to here. We're gonna need a different loadout kit. This shit is about to get even more dangerous. Alright. Let's go put some of this stuff away. Just putting the stuff away so then we can start like a refresh. Keeping that for emergencies. Probably gonna need more med packs too while we're at it. Put away some of the shards. Oh, this is just the collecting thing. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can do. First, let's start off with the suit.
boost plus 20% oxygen capacity. Maybe we should just wear the Mantis suit for this one. This is about to get a whole lot dangerous. Wear this because we need the reload speed. Oops, my bad. I clicked the wrong one. We'll keep the Mega Corpse one and then we'll just take this one then. some weapons for this one. I'll say it like this. To get out of a jam, I do have a lot of this. So I might as well just keep this as a spare just in case. Like, if we really need this. Do have MMs, but sparingly. And this is good for those long range, mid range weapons, but it's only 15 mag. But I might as well take it, you know? I do want like a nice little mid-range, like a long-range weapon so I can take shots from a distance. Now I could take... Oh wait, I think I sold that, did I? I think I sold it. have a lot of the K, yo. We do have it. This right here, we might as well just take the shotgun. And... 
I don't know if we want to take the pistol. 45 caliber pistols. It was a nice little gun, but... We can take this one right here. Semi-auto. Pretty much looks nice. Might as well take that. And then we'll take uh, the K. I think we should just take the K. Give the uh, this one a break. We'll take the K. take this one for long for long range ones we could use this one but it'll be too loud but again we could use it So it does 8 more damage, 6 rounds, and this is 15. We'll take this one. Alright. Okay. I'll put this over here for this one. MM long ones over here, long range weapons. We have this one as a backup. Shotgun in the middle. K at the bottom. Mid range right here. Nice little pistol replacement. So we need 45s. 45 45k. 6.5ms and 11ms. And then caseless shotgun. Uh, caseless. Shotgun shells. I think that's a good balance right there. Alright. So I got about a thousand. Let's take about two fifty. Caseless MMs. We'll bring 400. And then this, we know we got the K. We'll do 450 for that. MMs. 6.5 mm's We'll just take 380 we'll keep 500 here And in case of shotgun shells and Just in case for close quarter combat We'll take 200 of those that should be more than enough Be on the bar. The lives get stuffy sometimes. Yep. All right. Let's see what we can do. So, Sam, have you given any thought to what I asked regarding Cora? 
What do you mean? Keeping her in the lodge like a prisoner instead of letting her roam free? The answer's still no. You know I didn't mean it that way. I was merely suggesting that you allow Mateo to look after her. Perhaps even have him continue Cora's education. Honestly, focus saying things happen. We want her to remain safe. The only way I can be sure Cora's gonna be safe is if she stays with me. Sorry, sir. I'm changing the word. Yes. Do want burst fire? That'd be great. Rock trigger. Titanium lubricant. Probably turn into a three-round burst when I come back. We definitely need that. Of rounds? That would be pretty nice. That would be fucking nice. And a barrel, drum barrel. We do need those. We still got that. Alright. All right, I think we're good. Okay. All right, let's do this.
need to find her brother. Where is that? Ah. Okay. So the brother is over here too. All right. So we got we got a game plan. So we can go over here, explore over here, go to the farm, do that first. Then we'll work our way down here and we'll do all that stuff. Ready? Let's do this. Um, let's go to the missing goat. Why do we go to the front door? Well, we could just go over right here. We suffer like the eagles of old. Let's go explore this structure over here for a minute. You could tell this is like a fake like chunks because you can see like somebody ooh, unless somebody broke this and stole this sign, but this is like a fake chunk is. Yeah, this this is definitely you can tell this is like some fake ass chungus thing. Ooh, mercenary helmet? Eh, might as well take it. Alright, nobody in here. Looks like there's like barely anybody here. Holy shit, yeah, this is. Definitely a fake ass chungus. It looks like nobody hasn't even been here for years. Oh yeah, this is Might as well steal it. I wouldn't say it's fake, but it's pretty apparent that there is literally nobody here. But then again, there's like, you can't steal shit. But I already stole like two things. Have you come to scoff at the fools? Or are you here to join us, perhaps? We are outcasts living in self-imposed exile. We are not welcome in the city, so we have come here to make a new home. It closed because it was not profitable. Little wonder. Yeah. We are a deeply traditional people and distrustful of unfamiliar things. Being open to new ideas and experiences is not our way. Truly? Then, I welcome you. 
Just know that spending time with us might cause you to be looked upon unfavorably. All my life I've looked upward, yearning to explore distant worlds. Such thinking is frowned upon, so I kept these feelings in my heart and did not speak of them. When the calamity struck, things changed. Some of us openly questioned whether it was safe to remain here. The condemnation was swift and merciless. We were shunned and cursed. People would not look at us. Merchants would not serve us. We left the city behind, knowing we would never again be forgiven or accepted. Thank you. Sympathy from a stranger is a rare gift among the people of House Varun. Unfortunately, our collective closed-mindedness could lead to our downfall. If more of these unforeseen calamities should happen, we risk losing everything. If you need a place to stay, you may remain here as long as you like. Unlike those in this city, we do not make others feel unwelcome. Or was there something else? Several reasons. For one, it's large enough to accommodate us comfortably. It's also far enough from the city to afford us some solitude. And lastly, it is unclaimed, and so there is nobody to object to our presence. In truth, people from the city don't like to come here. To many, it's a symbol of the greed and corruption that plague the other factions of humanity. Wow. Once something is accepted as tradition, it is difficult to change people's minds. The Great Serpent guided Jinan Varun to this world. It is where we are meant to be. To desire to travel to other worlds is to be in defiance of the Serpent's will. Only a select few are sent forth as spies to protect us from the other factions. But in truth, I see a means of control. If people left, they might return with new ideas and challenging questions that threaten the fabric of society. You ain't wrong about that. Goodbye. We'll need to find more supplies soon. Yeah, you got that right. We must be patient and trust in the Great Serpent's will. All is lost. All is lost. I'm so sorry I stole your shit. Didn't mean to, but he said, hey, I could stay here as long as I want to, which is perfectly fine. I was questioning what the fuck happened, but he already answered that one. Let's go, Andresia. Our work here is done. Hey, at least he gave... Whoa. <laughs> Damn, when you came upstairs and you thought you'd seen it all. Holy shit. Come on. Oh. God, it's too heavy. All right. That slaughter. Oh, you find some goodies. Shoddy. Oh, look, I got a shot. There's a shoddy right here, but I'm good. I got a nice little shotgun.
Seems to be cleared. Doesn't seem to be that bad. Save it right here, just in case. And let's do some good old fashioned investigation. Got the wrong gun for this. I get the shotgun now. That's a pretty nice gun to steal. <sighs> oh, a scarf? Oh, let me take that. Let's see. I don't want to steal something that's not mine. I have ever seen her complain and made a mistake. And
storage key. See somebody down there. Oh, oh that way. <sighs> Damn stop and grot. What? What are you doing here? I am Malik's farmhand, and I'm tending to the groats. Is it not obvious? You are a bad actor, and I am losing my patience. Tell us what you are doing with the groats, now. Hey, All right, all right, just hear me out. Look, I am not the mastermind of all this. I was paid by a man named Andra to bring him a groat. I need the credits to pay for my uncle's medicine. I am not sure why Andra needs the groats, but you can ask him yourself. I was told to bring the groat to the seaweed farms in Dasha. As for me, I, I promise that I will leave this farm and never come back. I will. I won't ever come back here. Good. Nice little visit to go towards. Oh, well, well, what we got here? That's nice. Oh, shit. This person was dead back here? Interesting. Damn, even a dead person is back over here. Now the question is that he killed him. And his door was pretty fucking locked tight. Interesting. So he was basically hiding a dead person in there. Fertilizer deployment protocol activated. Please vacate the area. It's always good to look around.
Let's go pay the other place a little visit. This is going to be an interesting visit. Do you need something? Mm. My friend at the farm? I think you have the wrong guy. Besides, I would never steal a groat from someone, especially in times like this. Damn it. Just my luck. No, okay, okay, okay. I confess. This groat is not mine. And I have been taking Malik's groats for some time. But I swear to you that it is for a good reason. I know so many people that cannot feed themselves or their families. So many people, so many children are starving. I have been taking the groats and giving them to families that cannot afford to feed themselves. At times, I pay others to steal the groats so they can use the credits for medication or other supplies. Listen, I will pay you however much the groat is worth. But just let me leave with it. I will leave Malik's groats alone from here on out. Hey, uh, and I'll let you leave if the girl stays with me. Fine. Since it was a medical thing, I'll are you like that? Are you serious? That is a considerable amount of credits. That could help a lot of people. Well, I will take you up on your offer if Malik will have me. I will bring back his growth and apologize to him as soon as possible. Good. What did you need? All right, then. That solved the problem. He was trying to do it for a good cause, so medical supplies and stuff like that, and people can't afford it. So I let him be. I'll pay him ten thousand credits.
might as well put a good cause to it, you know what I'm saying? I pray that you can get to the bottom of this. He'd like to watch and do what? I do not need any help, much less from a no-good growth thief. I would have rather you shot him. That may be true, but still, can I trust him? You can always turn him away when he comes to apologize. <clears throat> I will show the virtue of mercy and hear him out. But I make no guarantees that I will accept him. It has been a strange day, and I would very much like to rest now. I appreciate you looking into this matter. <sighs> okay, nobody got hurt. Nobody got killed. I mean, shit, I could shoot him, but then again, I'm like, well... He's doing it for a cause, so I can't really do it. Alright. Alright. Now, we need to go there. We need to start working our way down here. That's what we need to do. Probably explore this facility. I've never seen this strange place before. Alright. Well, let's focus on the task at hand, if anything. We'll stop right here, and so then that way we'll be this far apart. I'm probably gonna save it right at this point over here before we get into these two over here. We gotta do this right here. We'll look over here first, and then we gotta go over here, get a blood sample tissue, and then after that we gotta find his brother. Might as well. Thank you. 
guards overheard my neighbor forsaking the great serpent. What a fool. Hey! Might as well just come with us anyway. Come on, let's go. this group came from. Vindicator. Here we go. Grenade out! Run from me, will you? <clears throat> you thought you could win? Watch it! Everybody's good. Ah, damn, what was this about this motherfucking creature? God damn. I'll take this just in case. Shit, your partner didn't make it. Yeah. 
Sorry about that. Come on. This is an unknown and worship stream. We'll keep it going over here and then we'll work our way back on this way. Vindicator. I appreciate you taking the wheel. Okay, which way? Stop it here. I will stop right here. I think we should stop it right here for tonight. Let me save it. Alright. Ooh, this is getting fun. I like this game. Ooh. Man, Starfield. Shit. Can't stop playing it. Alright. That's about it for me. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. We're going to still have some more Starfield Shatter Space DLC. So far, oh, excuse me. So far, I am enjoying it. I'm loving it. It's really good. I'm having a blast with it. Um, So by the time this, you know, from this recording and stuff like that, and I have it posted, I should have some more Starfield DLC uh, 
gameplay going to be coming up. I'm also going to do a video tomorrow. I'm actually going to do um, a troubleshooting for some of the problems that Starfield, you know, some of the DLC, what's been going on and stuff. So I'm going to do a troubleshoot thing, a gaming guide for that. Um, because I see a lot of people are having trouble with like crashing issues, this and that on the PC side. So I'm going to help a lot of people with that. And also I am going to uh, try to at least do another video, you know, talking about the shatter space, my overall impression so far. What, what are my thoughts on it and stuff and Probably later on we we'll might go into some debunking videos, but that's a whole nother plan right there. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. Uh, hopefully you like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.